Y'all, Wizard 101 just announced a bunch of upcoming spell changes. The theme of the day seems to be heal counters with all the spells that they leaked. I'm gonna start this video right away with an exclusive spell change that didn't make it into yesterday's video because this info was only available today. That is right. This has not been announced on any other channel. It's your boy. And it is deeply related to the theme of heal counters. I can confirm straight from the source that Snowdrift is about to be PvP banned. That is right. The ice spell that for two pips can steal anyone's heal it's going to be banned in PvP. Now, for people concerned about what is going to replace it, it looks like they're actually going to be giving Ice and Feeble in place of Snowdrift to use in PvP. So it is exactly the same as the Storm and Feeble that we all know and love. But because Ice is more of a blade removal school, it's basically going to be given to Ice. Everyone's TCs is going to change to Ice, and Storm is going to keep their original and Feeble spell. So while in Feeble isn't really the big story of the day, Snowdrift is a gigantic deal because now that it's going to be PvP banned, life fire and storm they're going to be way more free to use single and double overtime heals against ice which is a whole matchup but as if that wasn't like you know earth shattering news for the ice school there was a lot of stuff that got leaked today from other content creators that we need to talk about one of the leaks today was on potato monkeys video which will be linked in the description and he covered quite a few balance spells that are going to be changed in the upcoming update but the one that i really want to talk about is gearhead if y'all don't know right now gearhead is kind of a behemoth of a spell in live realm right now and that's mainly because not not only does it do a decent bit of damage it also swaps both heal over times and damage over time to give you an idea of how powerful there is there are some spells especially on fire and life that can both do a heal over time and a damage over time if you dared to do a spell like this one gearhead and not just one overtime but the other overtime gets swapped over the spell can directly counter a third of all hanging effects in the game. They're changing gearhead by adding an extra spellman pad, so you have to choose whether you want to swap heals or swap damage over time. Now, while this might not sound like a big deal, this is absolutely going to nerf Balance's ability to deal with healing schools that also use damage over time. The fact of the matter is, that's both fire and life. I'm going to make a pretty bold prediction here. I think most people are going to choose the heal countering path of gearhead because Chimera can echo overtimes and do ridiculous damage if you stack too many overtimes on your opponent. That is going to make balance, in my opinion, if they go that route, pretty weak against cheap double OTs. So we're talking about like Krampus and Burrowing Bane. But overall, this is yet another change that will make certain healing schools a lot better because they'll have a lot more options against not just ice, but also balance. As if all of that wasn't enough in another spell teaser that they put out today on Corin Boar's channel. That video is also linked in the description. They're making Triton, which is probably the only offensive heal counter in the game right now. They're making it so that yes, you can still clear heals and do damage with Triton, but instead of getting 60 blades based on your school, it's going to default as Storm Blades. Now, if that sounds familiar, they already did this with Zilla. This also used to be school-specific blades, but now it's just Storm Blades. This completely made spamming overtimes against a bunch of schools way, way better than it used to be. And now, it looks like basically the go-to heal counter for every school, including Storm, but, you know, other schools as well. The go-to counter seems to be really, really, you know, situational now. You're going to have to find it either a way to use those storm blades or you're gonna have to find another counter to use that's better than this now the only silver lining with what seems to be three separate nerfs to heal counters it looks like death is gonna get better heal counter they're making infections i guess just more potent in general so three folds instead of being minus 50s and infections instead of being minus 50 they're gonna be minus 65 now while that is good i think expecting everyone to carry infections and three folds instead of physical heal counters like triton is a, I, I find that really dumb most lives don't heal through these they just pack weakness counters so they don't have to i would say overall given the net sum of all of these changes healing is absolutely going to become way more powerful than it is right now there is like two silver linings that i can see right gear ahead if you choose a heal countering path actually does more damage than it does now however two of the schools that you know can heal a lot can also damage over time a lot so i'm not sure it's as clear cut and yes i guess infections are a little bit better even though those are going to get countered and you really want to be removing heals when you're addressing them i think healing is a very touchy subject for a lot of people because there have been metas in pvp where people will hold you hostage because all they want to do is spam heals over and over again very unfortunately the whiz community when it comes to pvp has a long and dumb history with people stalling in their game thankfully this problem has gotten quite a bit better because they started capping the amount of times you could use things like rebirth right that times one on this card a lot of people don't know what this is but let's say the 
you pack all four rebirths that any deck allows you to pack, right? After you use one, if you reshuffle, you can actually get the rebirth back. And many powerful heals in this game also have this, right? Like a four, uh, a four card copy limit. We're talking about Pigsy, Regenerate, and obviously Rebirth. But the truth of the matter is, if you were to pack a, like a full row of Rebirths, Pigsies, and Regenerate, even if your opponent stays very much on top of those heals, the second they don't, there's still spells like Gnomes that gives you an 810 heal per hanging effect heal that you have on yourself. This is such an easy spell to just use to like literally get back to full HP the second your opponent falls just a little bit behind on making your rebirth or your or or your regenerate or whatever into like, you know, not a heal. What a lot of people have been doing is they'll use a heal like this with an adapt aura and they'll get a power pip for using a spell on themselves that's more than six pip. If someone tritons them, they would get another pip with that adapt so that they're basically getting like a a four pip rebirth at that point and all they would have to do is just rebirth again at that point or if, if they you know if someone falls behind they could just know i think if someone goes into a match expecting that they can just prolong the game forever they should not be able to do that as easily as they're currently able to do if they're gonna nerf all this healing absolutely this is a must i think they need to make sure that gnomes isn't a spell that can be used to prolong the game forever and i think they need to watch this meta very very closely just in case a triton like you know like revert is needed in case a snowdrift revert is needed i understand that they're keeping a lot of these rules consistent and honestly i appreciate that because there's less confusion in pvp but i would argue that snowdrift and school specific blades on triton have been the only thing keeping specifically jading from like going out of control i would love to be wrong on this but it does seem like quite a few nerfs to heal counters without really addressing heal spam at all. I did want to make this video in case people were worrying about the state of Snowdrift. Well, now you know. And also, there were so many other spells that got leaked today by other content creators that all seem to follow a very similar pattern. Let me know what you guys think of all of these changes. Guys, it looks like with the Snowdrift PvP ban, I can't really think off the top of my head that many spells anymore that just flagrantly do something against your school identity. This could be the first meta we've ever had where when you go against a school you kind of have a reasonable expectation of what they can do with their own spell it's interesting to say the least but it could also open up a whole ass set of issues like healing i look forward to reading y'all's comments and thoughts on this drop a like if you enjoyed leave a sub if you're new for all the exclusive spell teaser there will be a gigantic video probably tomorrow covering spell fusion so make sure you turn on notice stay awesome y'all see y'all soon and yeah, yeah.